Hey guys, so I figure, you know what, I was going to do a sound recording, test that out, but uh, as you can see it's it's raining and uh, I don't know if that would affect the sound, probably if I had to put the blower on. Maybe I should be testing that ambient noise anyway, but I figure I, I did an effic efficiency test coming in, basically trying to kill the, ra uh, kill the range with, uh, you know, high heater use and high speed. Um, and as it turns out, yeah, you'd be better off. You're getting more kilowatt or miles per kilowatt hour by uh, driving faster when your heater's on full blast than, you know, while you're driving slower or stuck in traffic. So, um, but but now that it's raining, that might be another fun thing. It, the problem is this is going to be a descent, right? So the it'll be a net negative uh, uh, elevation. So it might still end up actually being even more efficient even though we have rain. So um, as you can see, the cumulative for the first one was about 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour, but I think a lot of that had had to do with uh, the, um, the fact that I slowed down and was stuck in traffic for a while just sitting there with the heater going full blast. So uh, what I think I'm going to do now is just reset this um, and... Uh, you know when I'm ready to go and and reset this screen as well and just share the results and I'll I'll uh, post up a quick uh, a quick video of that as well and uh, yeah that's about it Alright guys, I'm uh, I'm shutting this down again. Ugh. Whew. I said I don't know how you guys handle it. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, so you know I ran into some rain, ran into some wet pavement, but this is kind of what I was expecting actually. Um, a slightly higher result coming back. Now, I mean, you could average the two numbers and I think it'd be pretty close to um, like 2.7, 2.8 uh, miles per kilowatt hour. So not great, but given the heater was running, got stuck in traffic occasionally, rain, all, all, all that wonderful stuff. It's, yeah, I guess it's, it's kind of expected, right? 180 to 190 miles um, from a a to B to A trip. Uh, notice, I mean, this is what I was talking about in terms of the elevation, right? Because, you know, the really, really poor, just as that initial elevation up and then, you know, raises up a little bit as I get to decel uh, descend a little bit. And then I have to climb to the highest grade and then come back down again and then it just sort of levels off. Um, so, I mean that's kind of what you can expect in in the in these weather conditions. So, uh, 180, 190 miles, uh, but that's with everything running full blast. And I'll tell you, I I think it's uncomfortable. Uh, maybe some people want it really, really warm. So if that's the case, then I think this car will do it for you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's pretty hot. Anyway, I think I have some B roll and things like that to to roll in there too. Um, but uh but overall yeah i mean th this was reset so uh it's back to for the return trip 3 miles per kilowatt hour um average and if you look at the estimator it's estimating they're still going to get pretty close to 100 uh, 200 miles um expected range so yeah 
just another data point.